Hello boys and girls, uh, welcome to my humble basement workshop. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a little problem that I have. I have a lot of files and I don't have any handles. And they're all sharp and they hurt my, my delicate little hands. So I was uh, watching a YouTube video by another uh, YouTuber, Alex Steele, who's a young blacksmith, and naturally a blacksmith, works with his hands and works with files. And in one of his videos, I saw that he had a golf ball wedged on the end of one of his uh, files. And I said, that's brilliant, because these are super cheap, easy to find. You can get them in a garage, you can get a box of them for like a dollar, or... If you're like me, you could steal them from your grandpa when he's not paying attention, and you drill a hole in it, and shove it on like so, and uh, problem solved. Maybe. So, today I'm going to drill a hole in this and see if I can make a halfway decent file handle out of it for nothing. Alright, so I have the uh, doomed golf ball in my handy drill press vise here and we're gonna turn it on, poke a hole in it and see what happens. Boy, it's hard in the middle. Hmm, very hard. I wonder if I'm getting plastic welded to the tip of the drill bit or what? Let's try that again. Nothing. Hmm. I thought this would be easier. I give up. Okay, good news folks, the, golf, the center of the golf ball is not rock hard, I am, uh, uh, no, dense, thick, like a rock, that's what I meant. The uh, chuck stop, or the uh, quill stop was set, so I, uh, it wouldn't let me go any further. Let's try this again. Thanks. Focus. 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 There we go. See? There's a hole. Okay. So, as you can see, it's got a hole in it. Here's a file. See? File. Focus. Okay. Anyways, let's see if this will fit on there. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work. I wonder if I should make... See now, different files have different size... Uh, framing, here we go. Uh, different size tangs. So this, you know, this particular file has a much wider tang than this round file. And now I have this big bastard file, it's a 12 inch bastard file, and it has a much wider tang even than those, and then I have this tiny round file that has an even smaller one. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'll drill a couple of different size holes in that golf ball uh, that will fit the different size files so I can use one golf ball for all of my files. Let's make some holes. Okay, we're back at the drill press. We got same golf ball, different size drill bit. This one's smaller. And that should fit my small round file. Bam. Look at that. Perfect. Alright, 
and now uh, same thing again, but different. I'm going to try a quarter inch here for my larger bastard file. See how that works. Big hole, big file. Mm, not quite big enough. It doesn't really get on the tang very far. So I'd like, I'd like to be uh, choked up a little bit more on the file. So I'll go up to, uh, I'll go up to five sixteenths and see what difference that makes. That's a decent sized hole. Found it on the table. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that's not bad. Fits in my hand all right. And uh, the more you, uh, you know, put the, the handle in the file, the more uh, it'll probably stretch the hole out at the top and so it should be able to go deeper into the hole each time. All right, here's another hole. And uh, that was 1164, so I think that'll be good for, uh, for some of my round files, like this one. Might have to go a little bit bigger at the top. I don't I don't want to necessarily go real wide all the way because the the handles on these the tangs are tapered so I might go with a larger diameter drill bit uh, maybe half halfway so it fits the taper a little bit better um, let me give that a shot So this is uh, 1364s. So I'll just go about the half the depth I was on the previous size. Yeah, that fits a little bit better and uh, a good tap on the bench, and that'll fit nicely. It's comfortable in the palm. All right, well, it's not pretty, but it is full of holes. Um, I've got four different hole sizes in here because I've got varying uh, tang sizes. So this uh, golf ball can be used for, you know, here's a small uh, triangular file. And where my bastard file go? Here it is. Here's my 12 inch mill bastard. And that fits on there nicely. Give it a nice tap on the bench. It's on there, good and snug, doesn't go anywhere. And it fits, fits my hand nicely. And uh, yeah, all it costs is one uh, borrowed golf ball. Thanks, Grandpa.